Hey guys, my name is Taya, and today I'm here to do another Walking Dead review. This time it's for Strangers. That is season five, episode two. If you, if any of you didn't know. So, first thing I would like to say is the humor in this episode was so on point. Literally, it was life. Also, another thing I'd like to say is the way they shot this episode was beautiful. I think it has to be my favorite Walking Dead episode as far as the filming because they they filmed it in differently than how they filmed their other episodes. I'm not going to get into it because that's a whole lot of technological stuff, but I think they filmed it beautifully. So without further ado, let's get into the review. I think I'm going to say that like every single Walking Dead review. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is Tara and Rick's conversation. Basically, it was Rick telling Tara that, you know, no matter what you did, before we still accept you into the group and but that's really kind of Rick because it seems like Rick is turning stone cold. The second thing I'd like to talk about is um, Tyrese and Carol's conversation when specifically when Tyrese was like we don't need to tell him about the girls it just shows that Tyrese is still getting over the emotional side of what happened at the Grove and I'm glad they didn't just dismiss it as like, oh, it happened and we we're gonna forget about it. Like, no, um, to a girl murdered, a little girl murdered her sister. It's not something you just move on from. And I like that they showed that. And then he's just like, you know, we just need to forget about it. He, which shows that they, that he's trying. He's trying to move on, but he, well, I mean, he can't right now, but I'm sure eventually he will. And then I tried listening to Rick and Carol's conversation, but my parents were talking to me, so I didn't catch much of it. But basically, Rick, I think Rick was thanking Carol. I don't know. I'm going to have to rewatch that scene because my parents were talking. I'm like, oh my god, guys. The Walking Dead is on. It's my show. And then, like I said, the humor. Um, they had a lot of jokes thrown in there. I really liked it. It showed they're more humor. Like, it showed a humorous side to The Walking Dead, which I always love seeing because, like, don't get me wrong, I watch it for the horror, but I like seeing those jokes thrown in because it makes it even funnier when jokes are put into a zombie apocalypse for some reason. Then, it happened. Father Gabriel was introduced into the show. He was struggling for his life, about to get eaten by, like, five, four or five walkers and he was calling out for help and when they finally found him um he's like oh you know i get saved from the lord and stuff and daryl's just like uh, don't look like it like i i if i have the opportunity to pause it i would have because i laughed for so long about that i don't even know why so immediately we see that rick calls bullshit on gabriel basically he doesn't believe a word he's saying which i mean you know I would get why he wouldn't believe it. I mean, come on. Never killed anyone or a walker. Seems pretty suspicious, don't you think? So when they get into the church, they Gabriel tells them that they're, he's raided every place but one. And so they, you know, decide we're going to go there. And Gar er, Rick brings Gabriel. And um, t they're like, oh, Tyrese, you want to watch the baby? Basically, Tyrese has turned into a babysitter in the apocalypse life goals life goals then the infamous never let your guard down scene which was again beautifully done um how be one of my fa one of my favorite scenes from t this episode but now that i think about it i have a lot of favorite scenes but yes the never let your guard down scene i think that's a fantastic thing said by Rick Grimes so good on you Rick Grimes for teaching your child right even more so i like what Carl said after words that we're strong and we're tough and we're and we're also strong and tough enough to where we can save other people because as glenn said this is who we still are because really again what separates us from gareth the fact that we don't eat the people after we kill them we're still killing them and really there's i mean there is a difference but there's not a huge difference like let, what's the difference between us and the governor nothing if we weren't able to save people and help them so i like what carl said there after that we see bob talking to rick about um going to washington and basically it seemed like bob was calling the shots there so i i like that scene we see a scene with daryl and carol and they're going to i think they're looting that car 
maybe. But um, basically, again, reassuring that, you know, they're not just going to get over what happened at, on the episode The Grove. And Carol isn't comfortable talking about what happened. And she says that we should have died. And then Daryl says something. I think he says, but we ain't dead. And basically, I like that quote because I... A lot of people compare themselves to walkers in The Walking Dead and basically that quote is just distinguishing the difference. We're not dead. They are. The scene cuts to one with Glenn, Maggie, and Tara. I would like to dub them for now and forever as the Holy Trinity. Kind of weird because now Father Gabriel's in the show, but yes, the Holy Trinity. And that was the funniest scene, I think, after the whole show. Like, Glenn comes out and he's like, and they're like, walkers? And he's like, yeah, yeah, walkers. And then they're like, he's like, yeah, I tricked. I don't know, that scene was funny. I like it. While they were doing that, Rick, Michonne, Bob, Sasha, and Gareth were, were raiding the one place that he said he hadn't raided. And it had the lurkers, which are walkers that, um, I think it's wa walkers that either live in water or have been in water. I don't know. Basically, they're lurkers because they're in water. Now, this scene was probably the best shot. It was different from all the other scenes in The Walking Dead. And, oh gosh, I just love this scene so much. The lurkers were beautiful. They were all bloated and slimy and a lot of them were really skinny because they hadn't eaten anyone. And oh my gosh, the graphics, the graphics, this is a video game. No, the, um, the makeup and everything was so on point. I can't even describe. At the end of this scene, Bob gets grabbed by a walker, almost gets bitten. Really, I really thought he was going to get bitten, but he didn't. The next thing I want to talk about is Michonne and Rick, their conversation where um, Rick's like, do you miss your sword? Again, my family is trying to talk to me during that, but I caught the end of it and how Michelle was saying how she misses Andrea and Herschel. And I really like that they've thrown that in there because um, it shows that they're not, like they still remember who they, who they lost. Just kind of like how in the last season, uh, Carl mentioned Shane when he was being rebellious against his father he's like Shane you remember him mom you remember her like I like I like when they talk about people who they've lost because it just shows they remember them and they are sincerely sad that they died then we have this scene with the decision to go to Washington you know um what's his face uh Abraham gives his speech it took me literally I timed myself two minutes to figure out his name I had to look it up I literally forgot his name but yeah that whole speech and um I, I feel like Rick was already going to go along with it anyways but he kind of just let Abraham do his little speech then we see Bob walks off for some reason well we'll get to that what we're getting there we also see Tara and Maggie um have their little conversation basically tara was telling maggie that hey i was with the governor when when he killed your dad and i'm really sorry i love i love the fact that maggie didn't lash out at her or get mad she said you know you're here with us now and that's what counts and then they hugged and i was like oh i ship it i mean no no i, I ship i ship glenn and maggie because because they cute together we see the scene we we heard in the trailer, basically like, these people are my family, if you do anything to hurt them, I will kill you. Rick telling that to Gareth, because Rick thinks Gareth is hiding, not Gareth, Gabriel, sorry. Gabriel's hiding something, like, really crucial to their survival, which, I mean, what he's hiding is crucial, but at the same time, it's not crucial to them. If you don't know what's what Gabriel's hiding, I'm not gonna say, but basically, there's a comic book for a reason. You guys could choose to look into it or choose to not. So the quest for Beth continues with <laughs> Daryl and Carol seeing the car that, um, well, Daryl saw it that took Beth, and he's like, "Come on, Carol, we gotta, we gotta get Beth back." And they hop in the car and they go chase after them. Then it happened. So it cuts to a scene with. Bob crying and I legit want to know why he was crying. I think he might have gotten scratched or possibly bitten. I don't know but we never got to find out because he was snatched up in a blink of an eye. When he comes to we see Gareth and fire behind him. I'm, I'm like no. 
the tainted meat scene is actually happening. Now, I was warned it was going to happen by a good friend of mine, but I didn't want to believe it was going to happen to him. But in my mind, I was like, tainted meat, tainted meat. And it was, it was happening. And like, I was like, oh my god, Bob's going to die. So Gareth goes on this little speech, which basically reveals that he is the hunter. Well, him and his group are the hunters, and he's doing this because... Rick's group took what he had, his home. At the end of his speech, he says, a man's gotta eat, and my heart dropped because that was the sign that yes, Gareth was definitely eating Bob because that was directly from the comic books, and I was like, it's over for him. Like, it's really sincerely over. Then it shows, like, in the background, they're roasting Bob's body parts, and oh, oh. Too much, too much. My heart couldn't handle. I mean, I predicted that Bob was going to die in my season five death predictions, but I, I didn't want it to happen. So yeah, that's my review. Really good episode, like really good. I feel like, I mean, I know I'm gonna get hate for this probably, but I feel like I like it more than the premiere just because it had humor, it had horror, it had, it had great horror, it had zombies, it had great, screenshots not screenshots it had great um what am i looking for you know what i'm trying to say it was just oh my god a lot of this stuff was so good like i mean i think a lot of people go more towards action when they're rating episodes i go more towards dialect and the genre that the episode was in because not every episode feels like it's a horror type show so i really i really like this episode i feel like i like it more than the premiere no offense to anyone who likes the premiere better. So yeah, now it's time to do the character of the episode, which goes to Gabriel, because, you know, he's being reintroduced into the series. Well, not reintroduced, introduced into the series. So Gabriel wins the character of this episode. And the quote of the episode is, never let your guard down. Well, I mean, it's really the whole speech, but yeah, never let your guard down. That's the quote of the episode. So if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. I post these Walking Dead videos every single time there's an episode, so every Sunday I will post these videos. And if you want me to do a video in between weeks, just comment down below uh, if, you, if you want me to. If not, then don't, which you won't. So yeah, every Sunday, catch, catch me here on my channel talking about dead people. Um, make sure you check out the links down below to my you now Tumblr and Twitter, especially Tumblr, tumbling about it probably throughout today and tomorrow. So you don't want to miss out. And other than that, I will see you later, alligator.